Morning. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's pack up day. We move from North Wales to South Wales today. Um, so I've just finished getting ready. I haven't done my makeup yet. I'm going to do that in a moment. Um, and I finished packing. Everything's down. Ian's just sorting his stuff out. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll head off from here down to South Wales. It's 8.26. It's very early for a holiday morning. But hey, um, and I am wearing my Kisses by the Sea shawl. <laughs> Not because I'm cold, but because it was the only way to bring it downstairs. <laughs> it freed up a hand. But yeah, so I'm nearly there. Um, I will check in you with you in a bit. Bye. So the car's all packed. We're all ready to go. Off on our next adventure to South Wales. Um, have adored North Wales. Sad to leave. Looking forward to seeing South Wales because that was where I spent all my summers as a child. But the car is absolutely rammed. It's amazing how much junk two people need. Especially when one of them's a knitter. I'd have to say of the proportion of the packing in this car, I reckon a good... 70 75% is mine and probably about half of that is yarn related oh dear I definitely brought too much with me so I'm going to work on my jelly socks to start with today that's the back I have done the heel so I'm going to whiz around the foot now um actually before I whiz around the foot I'm going to turn the heel that might be a good move don't forget to turn the heel Sharon doesn't end well um so yeah so i'm gonna work on that while we're journeying down and then i might swap over i, I want to get um laura's shawl a little bit done on that as well today if possible so i may swap at some point but at the moment i'm going to work on my jelly rolls so yeah we're we're all we're all ready to go except for the fact i'm minus a driver um he was only locking up so i'm not quite sure where he's gone or what he's doing but um Presumably he'll turn up in a moment, hopefully. So I will check with, in with you along the way and um, see you in South Wales. Um, so a few days ago, there was a bridge which I freaked out about and said to Ian there was no way I was ever going to go over it. And um, through some various circumstances this morning, we are now about to go over the very same bridge. Um, it has to do with speed coppers not wanting to go through a speed trap twice and not get caught and um, yeah it's going to be an awful long way to go back round the long way round so I'm about to go over this bridge um, and I'm hoping that you know filming it might make me feel a bit better oh. what's the cars it's 70p right <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that bit. No, you're not. Just film the bridge so you can, but, they can um, see the bridge. Film the bridge so they can see the bridge. Megs, you're not gonna believe what I'm going over. In a car. Show on the side as well with the water. In 200 oh. yards, turn right onto A493. <sighs> That's after we've paid at the other end. Oh, poor girl. I wonder how many times she gets videoed. <laughs> Hiya. So there we go. Survived it. It was interesting. You know, somewhere along the line the brain goes, I'm not sure you should drive over a wooden bridge, but <laughs> hey ho, <laughs> we survived it. <laughs> off for the rest of our adventure today.
so we're in our new location. Um, we're in South Wales, of more by sea, I want to say. Um, in, we're in a little apartment. It's very, very tiny, very sweet. Um, it's got everything we need, um, except for a tumble dryer. Which reminds me, I can't hear the washing machine anymore. I think my washing's done. I need to go and get that out. Um, however, look at this view. If I can turn you around. Let's flick that down so I can see what you can see. That is from the sofa. That's the sea, just there. That, 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 there. That's the sea. So the view is amazing. Oh, sorry. So even if we don't go out, we can see the sea, which is great. Um, I think we're both really exhausted tonight. Um, it's a pretty much a 180 to 200 mile trip we've just done and we didn't go the direct route because we never do. Um, we pop stopped in to see Averavon on the way and we went through Aberystwyth. Um, and we are settling in. I have done some washing. I need to do some more washing. And um, we need to do something about eating. I for one could do with a proper meal. <laughs> We seem to be living on cheese and biscuits the last few days, which, although is probably one of my favourite foods, probably not a good thing to live on. So we do need to go and get some food. So I hope you will do that, and then um, that won't be. Today's will be a really oops. Today's will be a really short one, um, unless I do anything knitting related. <laughs> uh, don't know whether I'll podcast from here. The lighting is really bad. I've just been trying to take a photo of my sock to show Kelly how her colours are coming out because it's so pretty. Um, I was going to send it to her but I can't get a decent photo of it so I gave up. But um, I don't know how that's coming out, it's probably no better on camera. But I did the, the proper jelly roll heel which is very pretty but very fiddly. Not sure I'd do it again although theoretically I need to because I've got another one. I didn't do the jelly roll middle because no, it wasn't happening. So that's a twisted rib I've done on the middle. So it's my first little little jelly roll. I did say I was going to be knitting Laura's shawl today, so I might get that out in a bit. But um, I keep picking this up. I obviously want to knit this instead. But it's lovely. It's so pretty. It's not lovely, that yarn. I think this is her cocktail range with peach bellini, and it came with the um, birthday box. That's so pretty. I hope everybody's got their birthday box now, actually. I hadn't thought of that. Mm, okay, but it, hopefully, if you haven't, I'm really sorry. That's not like me to do a spoiler. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to knit on that for a little while longer. Just while Ian's unpacking, I'm probably going to go and, un go and put up our washing on the error. And um, then I'm guessing we're finding something to eat. But um, I will hopefully check in with you again before um, I go to bed tonight. Although you know it, I am very tired it's only five it's only five o'clock so it's plenty of time to have an adventure between now and then <laughs> talk to you later